Mass is offered today for Marco Antinarella, Chris Armistead, and Ann Snyder. So we celebrate the Tuesday of the 6th, Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Grant unto these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrate had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listed, it was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, do not harm yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you, will, you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. My right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship you, your holy temple, and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. 
forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Two books come to mind today. Silence by Shisako Endo and The Power and the Glory by Graham Greene. And there's a photo that comes to mind too. Sunday in the newspaper there was a photo of a 21-year-old Russian soldier who received a life sentence in Ukraine for the war crime of killing an unarmed civilian. All three stories present characters that are tortured by the choices they must make between good and evil. That little Russian boy looks like a baby in that photo. And that baby boy was encouraged to do wrong by his superiors, whom one would have hoped could have been relied on for proper guidance. Endo's characters and the protagonist of Green's novels are suffering the challenge of knowing the right thing to do in the pain of doing either the right or the wrong thing. Paul and Silas have a remarkable turn of fortune. When an earthquake and the unexpected change of heart of their jailer frees them from captivity, but it is a freedom that will not last. When my seminary companions and I would joke about playing hooky and going down to Fort Lauderdale to misbehave, one of the priests on the staff would chuckle and say, boys, there's no vacation from a vocation. Parents give similar advice to their children, don't you? There is no pain-free or struggle-free life to be had, but to be sure, a life well-lived brings fewer regrets. And so let us pray for the insight and courage to lead the good life. Let us turn to our loving Father confidently who will hear and answer the prayers which we offer in Christ's name. 
for the church and her leaders. May the Holy Spirit continue to grant them courage in sharing the good news of Christ with the whole world. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, my Christ, who unites him, help them to lead with justice and mercy and for the people of Ukraine, we pray. For those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, may the healing source of light and life in our daily endeavors, we pray. For the intentions of Chris Armistad, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. For those who have died, especially Marco and Pelara, Anne M. Snyder, for whom this Mass is offered, may the mercy of God bring them to everlasting life, we pray. Almighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. Is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Gregory John, our Bishop, Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, all the clergy and all the people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. With your spirit. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. <laughs>